Is it filming? I hope it's filming. Oh, hey! So, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my office that I work in, um, in the Navy, in Bahrain. Um, so this is my desk, and this is where I work most of the time. So, every morning I come in, and I log into the computer with my CAC card, and then I get to work. Um, I'm in charge of co general correspondence, so that means anything that needs to be signed by the CEO, or maybe the XO, or, or possibly even our administration officer, gets routed through here, and I take care of it. So somebody will come in, I will greet them, they will gladly take from my candy dish, and I log in what comes in. You know, hard copy of what comes in. <clears throat> and so I have lots, lots of fun stuff to work with up here. I have my rulers. I've got my highlighters. I have plenty of pens. I have my stamps for things that are just going to be like stamp that need the commanding officer's name. So we have a stamp. We just put that instead of writing it out or they have to write it out. I have plenty of hand sanitizer, my notebook and my trusty coffee cup, which I keep in the corner. I clean it occasionally. Okay, never, but that's not that's not the point. Uh, I have my shred bin down there. I'm supposed to shred every day. I know. And I just throw stuff down there that has been kicked back. So people will bring something that needs letterhead on it. People need like a designation to be in charge of a job, and the commanding officer approves of it. So like designation to be assistant command fitness leader so they can run PT for their division or like their um, their office so I could be an ACFL and they they have they have like supporting documents and then they have the designation letter which I draft up which isn't that hard um, you have so this these correspondences here are all folders with things that need to go get signed, uh, in this case, by the, our CMC. He's the highest enlisted, uh, he's the third in, third in charge of the command. He's the highest ranking enlisted person. And then after that, you have the captain, and then you have, or no, you have the XO, and then you have the captain, which is uh, officers. So these correspondents are gonna go to him and get signed. The, this is a privacy information sheet, so I can't, sh I can't show you what's underneath there, you know, because it's, I can't expose a PAI, like personal's names, uh, social security numbers, or anything like that. So you have that sheet over top of it. You're supposed to do that with every sheet. Oops. Um, then I have, uh, so, ooh, look at that. I never got to show you the title. There I am. I had to make those too. I, I do a lot of side projects. Um, anyways, I'll show you my big side project. So this is where YN3 works. She, I'm training my replacement. We have a typewriter. You know, I thought that would be something stuck in the 80s or 70s for that matter. But we still use it to date pieces of correspondence that have been completed by, signed by the CO and we date them. You can't date it before the CO signs it. Um, that blue stack right there is awards. You, we have a YN who's in charge of awards and awards go in blue folders. I think those are NAMS, uh, Navy and Marine Corps Achievement Medals. You know, for typically for like leaving the command or being, you know, a good sailor or doing something special. They're nice. They're nice. Something to have on your eval. Eval is like a uh, thing that you, it's a performance review every six months. That's what an eval is. And that's what that person over there is in charge of. Um, this is our inbox right here. So, or outbox, blame my last. Uh, anytime somebody needs to drop something off or it's been signed or completed, you put it in here and it's ready to go. Uh, we have NSF, Naval Security Force, CCC, Command Career Counselors, Teddy Commands, they don't really have their own box, so it's just they're part of this department. Uh, outgoing mail. We pick up mail for the building, um, the mailbox. Uh, we do that every day. And sometimes we get crates like this. Uh, that's where my YN1 works. He's got his little office. 
we do have civilians that work in here. Um, we have one that works back here. I don't know what she works in. Uh, this is where the guy, whenever you need something, like supplies or whatever, he works in this office. I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you guys names. I won't tell you guys names. Um, and then back here, I have my YN3, who works with my YN1. And then I have Seaman Pensatucky. That's not a thing. Made up name. Pensatucky works in instructions. So instructions are like the rules for the command or the Navy. Um, and that's what he works in. Hopefully this thing is filming straight and not like moving while I'm filming. Uh, this is just an empty desk because we had our awards person uh, move to be the secretary for the CMC. So that was nice. Um, empty desk. That's where my other YN1 works. Um, that's where the other civilian works. She does DEA approvals and so dependent entry approvals of somebody basically getting money for your spouse for like housing or like a, for them to move out here. Um, and then I, when I said side projects, uh, I do stuff like that, wrapping a door. Or decorating a Christmas tree, which I am very proud of. Did plenty of decorations. Use the laminator. I got a gremlin. I got a CVN 70. I got Jimmy Stewart. I got Elf. The leg lamp was the first one that I made. And the one that I'm most proud of is I made the Lizard King. A holiday ornament. And then my, for my brother, I made Spider Man. Got the classic Home Alone, the Grinch. Um, anyways, so besides that, most of the time people walk in from outside, come in, and then they greet me, and then I assist them with all their needs and help them out. But uh, yeah, that is my office. This is what I work in every day, and I'm pretty proud of it, and I do enjoy it. All right, I guess that's it. Bye.